Howdy y'all, I'm uh, just tying up some new leader material. I'm headed today to the Manus, against my better judgment, as I haven't taken a road trip uh, yet with my, with my newly, 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 newly repaired vehicle. I'm headed up to Manasquan Reservoir. Yeah. Which is about an hour and a half from me here in my studio. Just taking a minute to tie up some new leader material. I've been told about the Manasquan Reservoir by at least six different people, uh, Big Bass and Pickerel, so, uh, and Crappie, if I'm not mistaken. Lots of flooded timber cedar trees, swamp cedars, whatnot. Um, yeah, so uh, we have sunrise at 7.20 this morning and moonrise at 9 30. it is now hang on a minute it is now <clears throat> 3 39 so i have a little bit of time to kill um, i want to get up there too early and not be able to see the water when i'm on the water uh low wind should be should be an interesting day salooner is off the charts good uh, new moon and all so yeah we'll go up to Manasquan Reservoir God willing and see what that's all about while uh, while I am in transit to the reservoir um, I did go fishing with what is up with that why is that even in my box uh, did go fishing not last last night no, the night before last, went fishing with Mikey, the legend, Mikey B, down in, in the brine. And while I didn't catch fuck all, uh, Mikey B did all right. We had an excellent night. I mean, you know, I had an excellent night. Even though I didn't catch anything. But, yeah, I'll see you up at the reservoir. It's a difficult word to spell, reservoir, by the way. <laughs> I don't know what mental block I have with being able to remember that word, how to spell that word, but good heavens, Jim. Mike, you want to hear about, well, we got, what, an hour? An yeah, hour to go? An hour, yeah. Do you want to hear about Haranya Kasipu? Oh, shit. He's I don't a, know. That's from the Vedic tradition. It's a, a um, story about Vishnu. I can tell you about <laughs> I could tell you about the Sumerian creation epic. I could tell you about uh, a goddess by the name of Ninhurtzag. I could tell you about the Jeep. <laughs> I could save all this for the way home. Well, you might need it for a ride. You might need it. I, I mean, I'm thinking I've exhausted every piece of bad luck that, could, that one person could ever house within their organism. So we might do all right tonight. That's my thinking. I know guy. I even texted uh, Chris and let him know we're coming down. That didn't take you long, Mike. Is that like three casts? Damn, Mike. I am completely unprepared for fluking tonight. I brought everything I need for... Um, Strippers. For stripers, yeah, I didn't think the, I mean, I knew the fluke were going to be around, but not, not, um, not like you. You're prepared, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. Come on. Holy shit, Mike, you on fire. Oh, look at him, he's coughing up. He's coughing up these things. Um... Hush no, the anchovies. anchovies. Oh, should I go get my throw net and just Christmas tree the heck out of it? How are you, Chris? 
Guys, it's good to see everybody. Yeah, it's been a minute, hasn't Hello, it? Hello, man. How are you? Good to see you, dude. Yeah, likewise. You look good, man. Oh, I'm feeling like a million dollars. Are you? Oh, I'm feeling like a million that's dollars. good to hear, man. That's good and that's good. Oh, that's fantastic. That was a thoroughly enjoyable car ride, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing I brought you along so I could uh, at least see a fish, right? Mm. Always we... next time. It yeah. ain't over for quite a while. Yeah, right. We're early. Yeah. Yeah. Hurry up and wait. That's right. Yeah. All right. Drive All safe. Right. You good to? You I'll good make to... it. Yeah. This far. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I turn on the radio. you have to admit the uh, the conversation was engaging, though. No? <laughs> All night long. I can't believe you go fishing with me all the time, Mike. Like, I get an invite back. It's mental. I drive myself crazy. Can't imagine we're sitting at your, in your seat what it's like. So it's a real nice visitor center here at the Manasquan Reservoir. It's uh, lots of seating. Obviously fireplace, nice lofty ceiling. So apparently, uh, a lot of uh, public information. Um, oh, well, check that out. Clayton Park. I got a pamphlet for Clayton Park. That looks like it's got a little tiny leak there. This is the Manasquan Reservoir. I think we're right about here. And we're going to be, this looks intriguing back here. Uh, buddy was telling me, oh, it's $7 a, a person or a boat to launch here. And um, apparently this wasn't here prior to uh, 1991. It was. It looked like that. A bunch of fallen timber. They dammed it up. 1,200 acres. That's uh, that's it there. Um, there are um, hybrid bass here. What? Yeah, hybrid striped bass. So and uh, musky. Some massive catfish. There's chainsaw sculpture. Um, yeah, massive cat. I'll see if I can video the uh, the wall. This was not. This was just a, a stream, huh? Yeah, farms and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I'm amazed that there are uh, hybrid bass here. I was gonna ask Buddy how to catch him. The guy, that, the other guy that's at the watch. Okay. <laughs> and I think if I, if he tells me anything about it, I'm gonna like I'm gonna deviate from my uh, my original plan, which was to target the um, the pickerel. Well, that definitely will be back. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, it's a pretty good spot. Is it? Does it uh, close down in the winter time? It does. Uh, November, end of November, we'll close. Okay. And then we open back up March 1st. March 1st, okay. Damn, that is a huge bass. Wait, uh, do you know any about the, anything about the lake records? I don't. I mean, these are some of the ones that are, you know. Noteworthy. Yes. Five and three quarter pounds. I was on a lake down my way, and uh, one other guy was on the lake with me in a kayak, and he, oh, there's smallmouth here. Yes. Oh, boy. Um, yeah, Buddy just races, a damn, look at that striper, that hybrid. Buddy races across the lake with a big smile on his face and a net. And he's like, you got a scale on you? I was like, nah, not that works anyway. Right. And he had an eight and a half pound bass. Really? Just a little, like, I mean, a mud puddle compared to this place. All right, so Buddy was uh, telling me that they have a, a blue-green algae problem up here and that you should only launch at your own risk. That's the issue. That's your problem there. It's all that blue-green algae. No doubt from uh, fertilizer runoff. But it is like, it is so foggy down here. I can't see my hand in front of my face. So I'm kind of scared where I pee to, to launch. I, don't, I can't even see the shoreline from the other side of this dock, right? That's how foggy it is. So I'll just wait for a little more light, and then we'll uh, get started. I'm kind of intrigued by the whole hybrid bass. Hybrid bass, fuck yeah. Very clear water though, otherwise. Like real clear water. 
This place is beautiful. <clears throat> so they have uh, substantially less water than normal on this reservoir. A lot of, uh, this, I think it's Elodea. This weed. Right up tight to the surface. I have no idea how deep it is. I wish my I wish I had brought and charged. Lawrence, what were you even thinking, Jim? Um got one hit. That's it. That's, that's it. Just one so far. So the uh the legend the legend Mikey B just texted me. Wait till you see this, boys. <laughs> He's fishing like maybe three minutes from my studio. Um, look at this fish. Oh my, oh, oh my word. Look at that, he said it's five pounds, what did he say? Five pounds, eight ounces, I think. That's what he said. Come on now. There we go. Four pounds. Oh, I can't even see. Four. Four, eight, five pounds. I don't know what that even means, but that's a big bass, huh? It's bigger than the bass that I've caught thus far. I've turned two fish. I'm not exactly sure what they were, but they were just, um, you know, they weren't. They were just up on top in the weeds. And. Uh, I had zero fucks to give about what I'm throwing. I scared them, actually. I scared them. So. Yeah, I can't tell how deep this is. This green slime on top. I mean, I'd go to the other side, but I don't even, I can't even see it. Right? The wind's blowing this way. There shouldn't be any green slime over there. Hopefully by the time I get to the, to the, uh, the feeder creeks all the way west on Manasquan, there won't be as much of this stuff. Maybe that's uh, maybe that's the reason the fish are shut down. But like I mentioned, we do have moonrise at nine. So I mean, this is my shot between seven and eleven, probably seven and ten anyway. Um, and then the other option is to. Uh, to hit the deeper water. It seems like there's a uh, weed line kind of sort of out that away. So maybe I get well oh boy I hope I don't catch anything there. There we go. Oh see that? Look That's what that. I'm saying. The fish are here. They're just not Yeah maybe they're uh crappie tent oh oh there's a bump. Did you see that? Look at that. Okay. Maybe a downsize. Um, I'm just taking a walk to stretch my legs and get some B-roll. And wow, there's a tremendous amount of bait, like way up here in the, the really, really shallow water. Like I think all back here is where I'm where I should be fishing. There's a predatory fish. Um, oh, there's something big. Okay, all right. I think um, that's part of the game plan. Look how pretty this is. Though. Look at that. That's awesome, isn't it? Beautiful. That's a nice place here, uh, Manasquan Reservoir. Well, there it is. There it is. That's a that's hardly a fish worthy to leave on. That's hardly a fish worthy to start on either. But I mean, just judging from the rest of today, I sure wish I was a better fisherman because this place would be awesome if I was. It's, um, wow. Oh, I should have sent a picture of that to Mikey. The legend. I mean, the wind is picking up now, too. Yeah, damn.
Something like a bass. Oh, wow. Damn. A yellow perch. Fresh from the green. What's up there, buddy? Oh, yeah. You know, that was an ambitious meal for you. Oh, I could make this easier, huh? There we go. It's an ambitious meal for you there, friend. A big old rusty hook. Oh! Prick. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, there's that one. All right, well, I mean, it was looking pretty lean there for a minute. I am, I am happy with that, I guess. Satisfied with that. And where there's one yellow perch, oh boy, howdy, are there usually more. There we go. That feels like a proper fish. What do we got? What do we got? Oh my gosh, it's a smallmouth. It's a fucking smallmouth. No shit. Damn. Yo, I got that smallie. I got it. Heck yeah. I mean... That's no, nah, he's not big, but that's bigger than that half a bass I caught down that way. I was counting. <laughs> oh heck yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, that feels a little more decenter. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> nice, he's come. He came off. That's awesome. That was probably a two pound bass. Oh, that's so cool. Um, so I just uh, was talking to, well, when I caught that smallmouth, Buddy and Buddy were in the boat, I was asking, uh, Buddy, what, 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 what's with the, the weed? And he said that the, uh, the hydro company, the company that, that uh, well, I don't know, is the recipient of the state making and pounding this, this, uh, once stream, the hydro plant uh, is responsible for dropping the water. It's not atypical that the, uh, the water level has been dropped. They do it every fall. Oh, and the apparently they poison this weed. They poison it like, uh, what do you say, June, July. They'll poison this. And as this decays, it adds phosphorus to the water, uh, causing the algae bloom that we're witnessing right here. Oh, that was cool. I really didn't expect to land that fish because I cast in between a bunch of trees just like you just saw me do, like a moron. Mm. But, um, yeah, that's good. Right, but, okay, so, Jim, what's wrong with you, pay attention, Joe. What's wrong with but you, he was Jim, saying, Jim. don't be Jim. discouraged. Buddy. It's normally an afternoon bite or late morning bite here on this lake. Where are we? Manasquan. I mean, I said it before and I'll say it again and I'll keep, say keep saying it. Oh, the heartburn. But beyond that, this place is just gorgeous. I, guess, I mean, if dead trees can be considered gorgeous, swamp, I guess, is what it is. Back to fishing. All right. An afternoon bite, buddy said. He was right on. Oh. That right there is a uh, somewhat deformed, likely caught many times before, um, Manasquan largemouth bass. And I just made it. I was 
way down by that building. All the way down over there, over yonder. And I uh, thought, hey, you know what? I'm screaming because the Grateful Dead Meyer. Hey, you know what? The um, This was a good spot this morning. Like It looked, it looked like it held some kind of... Uh, not promise, but potential. Like, oh, oh, there's a bump. Yeah, it looked like it held some potential. Oh my gosh. I was just thinking, oh, if I get a big one, it's going to be hard to handle with this, uh, with the, um, oh boy. <laughs> the Fluger. With the Fluger. Oh yeah, we got a big one here. Come on, buddy. Oh, I am just absolutely discombobulated on the left-hand side. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Heck, yeah. Look at that. That is a um, Manasquan. A Manasquan Reservoir Largemouth Bass. Probably two and a half pounds. Two and a quarter, anyway. Nice fish. It's up there, buddy. I do apologize. I apologize for taking your lunch. See ya, pal. Oh, dude. <laughs> dude. And maybe dude at that might be watching this. This is gonna take me hours. Like, you see. You see all this? I might as well just sleep here. I mean, stay the night anyway. That's awesome, right? That was awesome. That's a nice fish. Well, there. I'm out of it. That's, uh, oh, I don't know, I probably spent an hour and a half in there. And there's way more down that way, but I just, I can't. If it wasn't so foggy this morning and I saw it, I would have, uh, yeah, I would, but would have already. Um, this wind has done a 180 six times, five or six times today. Like it's mental. I keep going against, you know, like thinking, Oh, I'll have a nice easy um, drift back to the launch, but yeah, it just keeps changing on me. I have full control over the wind direction. I just uh, go the opposite direction you want it to blow and then it'll turn on you. But uh, yeah, I think, what time is it? It's got to be two. Oh, there's that spider. He's been crawling on me all day long. Um, you want to clock 118. So, uh, yeah, I got up at 2.30, so. And then I got a kind of probably two-hour drive back. My diurnal drivers. And then uh, I got to get ready to go fishing with Master Captain Mayor Scott tomorrow. Offload all this nonsense and load up for salt water. And uh, rest my back. Probably rest my back just a little bit too, because, oh boy. take two hours to drive home. It took, I was there at uh, 2.30. Like I loaded up and thought, okay, I'm gonna look at the time. It is 4.31. And I just walked in like, my eyes, look at this. Buddy at the guard shack warned me. He warned me about the, uh, that algae getting on my my skin that it would be irritating I mean my eyes feel like I feel like uh, my eyelids are made of sandpaper um, makes sense though I'm thinking about on the way home 
you know, it's not. I'm not touching it with my eyes, but as I was casting, uh, the the algae was getting on my line on the spool, and then as I was casting, it was atomizing it, and I didn't have my glasses on because they're just dicked. My Jeep runs though, got me all the way home. So, yeah, next uh, next round, I'll devote to a pair of glasses, but. Yeah, uh, so Master Captain Mayor Scott called me on the way home. I was supposed to go down there. Uh, yeah, I was supposed to go down there and uh, fish with him tomorrow. Apparently, he's got a uh, walking pneumonia. So, I don't even know, we're not, we're not going to be doing that tomorrow. He needs to get some rest, which is fine. I could use some rest too. Um, 14 hours today so far. That's a 14 hour day. This is my last non-alcoholic beer. Right, that's a that's a well-deserved, real nice fish at the end of the day. A beauty. I was looking really lean there in the morning. I, I mean, it's pretty far, but probably not the last time I go back to Manasquan Reservoir, however you spell it, and uh, yeah, do that again because that was pretty awesome. That whole other side of the lake I, I'm still thinking like oh that might have been as spectacular as the spot that I got that big fish but anyhow being born is a terminal illness get the most out of each day people you never know when the last one's gonna come that's about it go fuck your hat good night and good hockey It was messed up. I drove for what two, three and a half, three and a half hours. Invested a whole lot of time up there, and uh, I could combine all my fish, and it wouldn't have weighed as much as as the legend Mikey B's fish, and that's like three minutes from right here. <laughs> Oh, 